behind at the reception, saplings, I hope you're all well, I hope you're all keeping safe and healthy. Hope you enjoyed the videos, what we made yesterday. Um, so it's just continuing, a continuation from the video we made yesterday. Okay, so as part of our literacy, today we are going to write simple sentences using and. And if you remember, from yesterday's video, that was your challenge. We'll see how well you have done. I haven't received any work yet. So don't forget to email me your work. We're writing sentences based on the story which I read yesterday. Ah, spider. Okay. And the character we described was the spider from the story. Although this spider does look a little bit scary. The one in our story wasn't as scary. Okay, so as if you can remember, we had words like big. We had words, descriptive words like black, hairy, and scary. And I did ask you to go, as part of your challenge, to write other descriptive words. Okay, and I hope you did write a list of those words. Email them to me, or even just send a picture through. I'm waiting for your lovely, fantastic work to come through to me. Okay, so today, to continue, we are going to write simple sentences using a conjunction. And, ta-da! What does and do? Why do we use and as part of our sentence writing? Does anybody know? Does anybody know? Mm, well done. Yes. It is to make our sentences a lot more longer and a lot more exciting to read. Super. Okay, so today the first sentence we are going to write using the AND conjunction is The spider is big and black. Okay, so let's say that again. The spider is Big and black. Six words. Shall we write that down? Let's write that down. And remember the words which I'm using, the descriptive words. Those are the words what we had already created yesterday. Okay? So let's have a look there. Let's write that down. Remember on the line. The spider, because it's a key word. The spider is. Now I know a lot of you would want to do the z sound, but it's actually the s sound. The spider is big. B, I, G, big. Don't forget to sound out when you are writing your words out. The spider is big and. Don't forget to write and a. Uh, mm, and black, let's write black. B, L, A, K, black. Now, does my sentence look right to you? Let's check. Let's read it first. The spider is big and black. Okay, yes, I've remembered my and in there. That's made my sentence a lot more interesting, a lot more longer to read. Super. I think I've done well. Do you think I've done well? No. No? Oh, yes, you're right. I forgot my full stop. Silly Mrs. to say. Let's pop the full stop at the end of the sentence. But I did remember my capital letter, so let me give myself a tick. I remembered my finger spaces give myself a tick i remembered to put my words or to write my words on the line give myself a tick and i've now remembered to pop my full stop at the end of the sentence i want another tick for using and because that's our conjunction and to make our sentence longer. So let's read it together one more time. 
the spider is big and black. You go like that now. Okay, once when you've written that with your adult, we are going to write another sentence. Again, we are going to use the conjunction and. I'm going to see if I can fit it onto this one line. Let's see. So we're going to write the spider. The spider is soft and hairy because the spider in my house was hairy. And if you've ever touched a spider, you know they are really soft. And if you put a little bit of pressure on them, you do end up squinging them and they do get spot and they die. Careful. So let's write that together. The spider is soft and hairy. Now, soft wasn't part of our uh, list yesterday, but I liked it, so I've added, added it on as part of my list, and you're okay to do that, and you can use any words that you have created with your adult. That's absolutely fine by me. Okay, so let's write our sentence. The capital letter, because I've remembered, the, and I'm writing on my line, spider, because it's my key word. The spider is, it does sound like z, but it's actually a s. The spider is soft. Let's sound it out. Let's get your uh, thread fingers ready for soft. Oh, get your thread fingers out the back. Let's sound it out. S, oh. Soft and let's write and ah and, and got to draw an extra line. It's important. Our presentation is very very important. We can't write without a line. So let's write hairy. The air sound and the e, which makes which is actually the y, but makes the e sound. So let's. Read the sentence together. The spider is soft and hairy. What comes at the end of the sentence? Full stop. Have I remembered my capital letter? Yes, I have. Give myself a tick. Have I remembered my finger spaces? Yes, I have. Give myself a tick. Have I remembered to write on the line? Yes, I have. Give myself a tick. Have I remembered my full stop? I have. And have I remembered my conjunction? And yes, I have. So I can give myself a tick. Read that sentence one more time. The spider is soft and hairy. Fantastic. I would like you to go and write these two sentences with your adult. Take a picture. Email them to me. I'm, I'm always waiting to look at your amazing super work. And thank you for all those parents and all those children that have been sending the gorgeous, amazing work. Okay, so your challenge for today is to do your work, to take a picture and send it through to me. Hope you enjoyed today's literacy lesson. Have a go. Have fun. Bye.